Thank you, Chef John, for joining us here today. Uh, it is such a pleasure to be talking with you and meeting with you today. Thanks for inviting me. Good to meet so, you. So just to uh, get a little background for our viewers and those that don't know, when did you decide to become a master chef in sushi? That's a really good question because I don't think I ever made that decision. It was back in like 2010, I said, I want to travel. I'm going to go to graduate school for culinary in Japan. And that will be above any criticism. You know how you leave your job and they're like, that's irresponsible. You should be a mature individual. And so I said, but I'm going to go to culinary school, graduate school in Japan. They're like, that is so awesome. You are just our pride and joy. But really coming back from Japan shortly after, who would have known that Japanese food is the most popular cuisine on every continent in the world today? Yes, and it is really good. I love Japanese food and I love all sorts of it. I think, would you say, is the best part about being a chef and being able to share this Japanese culture with everyone and anyone that you meet? So for me, as a third generation Japanese American, and a second generation chef. My grandmother was a chef when my grandparents immigrated to the United States in 1917. Really a sad story. My grandfather passed away after six kids were born. And now my grandmother as an immigrant was left with children. And food has really enabled me to live my most authentic life, to be able to talk about Japanese Americans, understand the Japanese American experience. Now you are uh, featured as a cast member in the Roku channel Sushi Master. Yes, I am. I, oh. I'm so happy and I'm so proud to be uh, season one featured cast member um, because it affirms again everything we've talked about mm -hmm. that I am that one cast member that's bringing history and tradition and a story and I'm able to bring a different version of deep meaning to the food you know what I mean um, but there's not a lot and I'm the only chef that's known to be telling that special story via food but to be on the cast with eight chefs you know um, Morimoto Sushi Master is the highest rated food show ever. You mentioned we're all, you know, trying to seek and find our path. And once we do, you know, that's where the, that's where we, our passion really comes out. That's when the magic really comes out. And it could be towards anything, you know, cooking, food, mm -hmm. obviously anything. So how did you know, or when did you know advice for people, you know, trying to, you know, find their path and trying to figure out, well, is this really it? Like, how do, how, how do you know? Mm -hmm. So the, the Japanese term for finding your life purpose is ikigai. And ikigai really means just dive deep, take risks, do whatever you need to do so that you can be proud of yourself and you can look back and you can be, I took another baby step forward because it's small incremental successes every day. But to find your path, to find ikigai, all you have to do is try and take one step forward. Yeah, that was very inspirational. <laughs> um, thank you. There you go for that for you know for those obviously it's a hard it's hard these days um and just so everyone knows so we've talked about a little bit about the creative spirit studio that you will be at in merrill it will be this saturday uh july 20th i'm going to be traveling to merrill to be at the creative spirit with my colleague and friend kathleen woodward i'll be there this saturday on the 20th of July, four o'clock. We're gonna make dumplings. We're gonna talk about dumplings. We're gonna talk about Japan. What I'm looking for is to fill those seats where we'll have a community of foodies talking about Japanese food on the 20th for 90 minutes, maybe two hours and enjoying my grandmother's dumplings at the Creative Spirit in Merrill. What more can I ask for?